What is up, my friends? So good morning. Um, it is me, Sarah, from Sarah Plans, and I am here today to do some work with the new petite. It's not new, but um, I've been using an old petite for a little bit, working in it with um, content, stuff like that. Just some general stuff. I love the size of them. They're so cute. Um, they're convenient. I love to just be able to grab this. It also fits right into my on-the-go folio, the, the bigger one, the zipper one, along with my planner. So that also is a huge thing. The notebooks, everything. It just slips right in that front pocket. So um, I absolutely love that. Now, um, what I'm going to do today is just kind of set this thing up a little bit. Um, I just got them. Well, I just got this one. It took a bit, let me tell you. Um, it took a little bit to get here, so that was kind of a bummer, but here we are. All right, so October, open up right to it, and um, I had to trim a couple stickers for this, but I think I got it. There's no way that if I ordered a kit for this, it would arrive anywhere near the time that I wanted it to, so let's do it. How's that look? Perfect. So we did it without a kit. No big deal. I'm not bothered. I think it looks awesome. I am not a fan of the kaleidoscopeness, so that works out well for me. All right. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to write in here just yet. Um, I, actually, I do know. I, it's a. This is going to be a lot more for content because. I can elaborate in here more than I can in my daily duo. My daily duo is a huge catch-all. It's got everything in it, so the basic principles of what I need to do, they're in there. But when I wanna brainstorm and elaborate on some tasks and break them down a little bit, this is where I'm going to come. Um, and I can still decorate it and have a little bit of fun. You know what I mean? See? So, all right, next up tabs. I mean, we got to have the tabs. So let's get these open. These are Erin Condren tabs. They're a colorful version. Uh, I have used them a million times and I think they're awesome. So they match the colors of the months and uh, they're pretty sturdy. Uh, but this may be the eighth pack I've purchased. So Basically, what I'm gonna do is just take out October, November, December. Ta-da, and then I'll slip that back in the pack, and um, when it comes around time to do January, February, March, I will just pull these back out and do those. All right, so if you're not familiar with these, um, they are, you know, they're cardboard. They have sticky tab on the inside on both sides. Uh, just forewarning you, when you put this sucker down, you're not getting it back up without undo or ripping the paper, okay? So pick your poison. Um, I learned that the hard way, okay? So just so you know, there's a lesson to be learned here if you don't listen to me and either measure it out. Some people measure it. I really don't, don't care enough. Um, wherever I put it, I'm going to measure off of them. Now, I know it seems weird, but I don't like to have the, um, the tab open to the next page. Like some people open up and they, you'll see. So I'm gonna put the tab here. Take one of these off and we're gonna just stick it, okay? It's really what it comes down to is we're just gonna stick it somewhere. So I'm gonna stick it right here. Now, mind you, I'm not busting it out all the way. I don't want to. I don't I don't feel like it needs the huge tab sticking out because it's a smaller book. Now, that sucker's on there. Now, 
All right, so personal preference. All right, so it's by November. Now this is what I mean. Like I'm gonna put the tab for November here so that when I open the book, it opens to November. I hope that makes sense. Otherwise, if I put the tab here, I would grab the tab and it would flip to the first. Feel me? Okay, good. Perfect. So, here's where it gets fun. I'm gonna take this and we're going to, so I'm gonna hold it against this side and line it up a little bit, just so I have a gauge of where I want this. Looking good, feeling fine. Now, like I said, some people I've seen them measure this. It's all good. I don't want to measure it. I think I got it. Ta-da! Looks fine as wine to me. All right, perfect. Now, see, I open it up to October, I open it up to November, and I open it up to December. So that's how I like it. Some people like to put it on the other side of the month, and that is completely fine by me. All right, beautiful. So, now I am going to do something right here, live right here with you, that is going to make some people really uncomfortable. I don't want this cover on here at all. So, it's gone bye bye. Now, I'm being careful to not cut the strings on here because I want to keep the book itself intact, okay? Hoping that that would come right off, but I guess not. Maybe if I fold it around, mess with it, manipulate it a little bit, it'll rip a little easier. So I don't want to rip the string, like I said. So I'll cut it and then we'll go from there. So the reason behind my desire to do this, and some of you may already have an inkling, I want it to be a flower power cover. And I don't want the bulk of two covers on here. So, what I'm going to do is cut this one off. Sayonara, see ya, hit the road. So that I am left with just this little jobber here. Oh yeah, so now here's what we're doing with this. I am literally going to take this off. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? There are just certain things that I want in my life, and one of them is my planner to match my flower power. I think that Erin Condren should hire me to keep going with the flower power because we could have come up with a really sexy fall version. Now, I'm not sure I've seen anybody do this yet, so I wonder if there's a reason why I've never seen anybody mess with the petites like this, but 
there's always got to be a first person, right? So I'm hoping that this, my idea is now that I'm just going to be able to pull it out of the middle of this. This string should stay as one, right? Ta-da! It's the confetti celebrating what I'm about to do. Oh, ah. Uh. Look, look at these. They're get into it. Alright, now I don't know. I am only taking this out because I want to see what it's going to look like if I put it in. Okay. Alright. So now we've got it apart. Let me just get these other pieces out of here. I've made a mess of myself. All right. Guys, do we see? Now I open that up. Now I easily could just, you know what I mean? Like I can tape these, cover this self-care journal up and boom. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm happy. Okay, so let's see, what's in the back? Could we cover it up with any of these beautiful stickers right here? Cause they're freaking gorgeous. All right. Put these back in here. All right, so. Now you're probably gonna be like, well, Sarah, your whole thing is gonna be all floppy and flopping around and shit. Like, why would you wanna do that? Well, I'm a, I'm a hoe for flower power, okay? I'm sorry. So here is my temporary folio. So I ordered the camel folio as soon as that thing hit the market. Now, what I want you to see is how I set this bad boy up. Now I always have post-it notes right here because this is just a travel. This is, I need, if there's information, I need to pop it here, put it into my, my bigger planner, my on the go, or my daily duo. Okay, so now if you're not familiar with this whole system, there's four strings. I always keep one tucked in the back because that's how I am. So let's check it out. Let's really break it down from point A to point B. Medium pocket in the front to put anything I need, any papers, whatever, any sticker sheets, whatever I need to put, I can put right here and we are good to go, okay? Here we go. So, I have my sticker sheets, I have my sticky notes. Now, this is a, some sort of divider. It's in there, I'll link it below. Um, it, it is very cool. It's got these pockets, three of them in the front. A lot of people I see put pictures in them. I like to put actual stuff in them, but to each their own. This as well, two pockets. Now in the back, there is a larger pocket. On the other one I had, I cut the top off because it just, nothing comes out. It doesn't slide out of this. Um, there's a little flap. Okay, ta-da, beautiful, so pretty. Um, the kind of flap that you could potentially take something like this and put it in there as like a divider, just a little decoration. You know what I mean? Some people do that. And maybe I'll cut that out, who knows. For now, we'll pop these two in. Believe in yourself, smile often, think positively, give thanks. Ta-da! Okay, now in the back I have a large pocket just because um, I can, basically. And underneath the pocket, I have stuck a pen loop. Um, these pen loops frustrate me because of most of our pens now have like some sort of texturedness here, so it doesn't go through that easily. 
which I'll show you how I beat that system in a second. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to put this baby in here, okay? So you just take one of these and you slide her right in. Okay, some of them have um, a metal clasp holding them together. Some of them are tied. I think the older ones are the ones that are tied, which is totally fine by me. If I needed to adjust it, I could. All right, so there's one book in. Okay, now you see that this thing isn't going anywhere now. You know what I mean? But this is what my month looks like. And that makes me extremely happy. So the other thing that we're gonna do, even though I did just write my name, I did not anticipate this. You ready? You ready for it? Let's take this out real quick. Make this work. Oh, crud nuggets. Whoops. So I'm just gonna line it up because I want that crisp line there to not look like anything is different. And then an extra note page, basically. That's awesome. Now, if I'm really feeling frisky, if I feel like this needs to come out, I could probably glue this in, but I just don't think it's a big deal because basically what I have is just a cover. Ta-da! I mean, they always pop up anyway, but that makes me so happy. Check it out. All right, so should we do it again? All right, we'll do it again. Adorable. All right, so there's setup number one. Now, I just want you to know, this is the other thing that I do. All right, so, pen clip does not bother me in any way, shape, or form when I'm writing, but this one, I can't get the pen in because the pens I use are too fat. So, I normally just take this and pop it on the top of this, okay? Do you know why? because, watch, so we'll go like this. Because I can still then open up to the page I need. That's what I've been doing with my other one and it worked perfectly. Open it up, take the pen off, blah, 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 and put it back. So that part, yay. All right, so second thing that I like to do is I am a list maker, so I snag these from the warehouse sale. Um, they, they don't make these long post-it notes anymore and sticky notes, and I don't know why. Um, it is really, really awesome to have this like long list. So I just take a couple off of here, and right here they go. And it's a running list. I just like to have them. I have them all over the place and they are one of my favorite things. All right, so what's next? So what else are we gonna put in this? I'm sure that's what you're like, Sarah, what else are you gonna even put in there? I mean, come on, you can't just have that one thing. No, you're right, you're completely right. So, I don't know how many times I've told you guys how much I use the dot grids. Okay, I pretty much have one going all the time. 
So, with that said, we are going to drop this bad boy right in here. Because this is my go-to notebook all the time, and as you can clearly see, it's got all my ideas, my pen tests, my budget planning research, Dot Grid makes my handwriting look so sexy, you have no idea. Maybe I've told you guys that before, but. So, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just tightening it because I might not use all of them, and that's that. So, you don't have to use all of these either. So now I'm going to put them, fold this part over, and in it is going to go my wellness. So for right now, this is the one that I'm, actually this week is the last week I'm in this one. So we might as well put our brand new one in, right? Why not? So open it up to the middle and just slide that baby right on in there. Check it out. What do you think? All right, so like I said, this is my temporary one, but I do really like this one. I think it's champagne. Um, just for a little flare, I switched the, the elastics and now I can't find the other one. Not that it really matters all that much, but not too chunky, totally functional. Now, if I need to, I can just take this thing and jam it on top. Look, boop, there you go, got my pen right there. And I don't have to take it in and out of that thing. That was the biggest pain in the butt. None of my pens are slim enough to use that. It's frustrating. Maybe I can figure out something else to use it for, but we're just not there quite yet. All right, so I had found myself using this to hold on to some sample stickers, stuff like that, and, and that was that. The pockets are really awesome because this thing ends up for me. I was using it and it would be So I have one extra. I can easily slip these things in and out, and I love that. Jot my notes down. Now, the fact that I'm using this particular petite for my content planning is what makes this thing so convenient. I can just have this and do all the things I need to do in it. And especially like we're gonna go through with the petite series and we're going to look at I mean we can look at the actual planner which is not a big deal but we're gonna look at how to utilize the notebooks um, I have used this as a weekly planner as well sometimes you just need to see the week at a glance and I've drawn out an entire week and it, it is kind of fun um, we are going to do the wellness log in the petite series and we also are going to do the budget planner so i could pop that thing in here as well because as you clearly see i was doing my emergency phone like all of that research so um i could easily that's called a budget bitch see um i do like to like draw and take the notes and make them look all fun but anyway um there you have it I am so glad I did this though because I love my flower power and now I have that little pop of this in there. You're damn right that I have a flower power notebook coming because I'm gonna do the same thing. You watch. I also have two more of these coming because I think that I also would like to take this and slip maybe like this and this into, I don't know, I couldn't do that now, but like I would slip that in there and keep it a little bit more together. I might just throw some hot glue and see how that works. I mean, if anybody has an, any ideas of how to keep that back together, but then I can always just take this and slip it out and take it to a new notebook, anything. So, you know, watch. I could just take this bad boy and Ta -da. like you so 
Maybe I won't attach it. So I don't know if anybody's ever done anything like this before. I wonder if anybody's even sewn them back together. That like might be a project that I might be up for. This girl's, your, your girl's got some sewing skills, so don't act like, you know, I'm a one trick pony here. Um, but that is my setup for now. I'm going to be pairing this with the Daily Duo and I am very happy. Um, if you have any questions or you wanna see anything else, totally let me know. You know I'm here for you. Letting you dictate what you wanna see is really important to me because basically you're the viewer. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, let me know, but. All right, now forgive me here, all right? Forgive me. I forgot about my most favorite kind of creative thing. Second favorite, I guess. I was the lucky recipient of a petite box to review, and in it came this. They must know me, and they must love me, because I got a flower power sticker book. Now, the beauty of these sticker books is they fit right into your petite, okay? You open up the middle and snap the string in and voila. Now, I decided that um, it is not as important to hold stickers. I don't know how I got so crooked there. <laughs> it's not as important as to hold stickers as it is to hold some other information that I'm constantly referencing and that's what I decided. So I am in the middle of putting in school calendars. So I'm gonna have my, the high school kids calendar here. I'm gonna have the football schedule here. I'm going to have field hockey schedule, volleyball schedule, planner Kate releases, my EC must have list, and my share of sale information. Now, I have some extra pages. I threw some of my um, favorite Flower Power stickers. I have two sticker books. Don't think I don't use them. Some fun fall stuff here. The sticker sheets that came in my petites because I'm going to use them. And then just a bunch of the, um, the monthly ones. And then they're just fun and cute and they fit perfectly in here. Lots of sayings, I like that. And I don't know what these were called, but um, there's like llamas and hellos and cups, and I thought that was cool too. All right, wrap that up. I just wanted to see it because I forgot it in the video before. So this is like part two, added on, little at the end, stay after the credits kind of thing. Um, if you haven't already, find me on Instagram at Sarah Plans, and um, definitely if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. All right, means the world to me. If you're looking for any EC products, don't forget to use your favorite affiliates link. Always use a link, even if it's not mine, but hopefully I become your favorite affiliate. That would be really awesome. Hit that notification bell and you'll get notified every time I post a video. I do a lot of plan with me's. I like to do them daily in the daily duo, so that's kind of fun. And I hope you have a really awesome day. Make good choices, be good people. Peace.